All right. Hi. Who likes to have a look at this? I know elves. Oh, oh she's not running away. That's funny. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that was so nice. I got some pets in before she got hurt. It. Before she got hurt. Here's your color coordinated stuff here. Okay. Okay, Mr. Ginger Earth Loof. Mm. Oh, I don't actually know which camera is. I think it's this one. We'll find out. Okay, buddy. Time to do a little black lighting. Because one of these days, they're just gonna not be pop. They're gonna start getting better. It's been what? Three weeks? Has it been almost three weeks? So today is Monday, right? I think today is Monday. Have we possibly had them for three weeks? I think maybe we have actually. So, hi. Let's see, let's check it out. Oh, there's some, there's some glowing glow. Fluff. Glow fluff. Okay, here we go. Oh, he's so handsome. But I need to look at your tummy right now, it's so cute. Oh, that is an adorable tummy. It's so adorable. So you have fluff. That privacy tail is very really effective. Got fluff growing back on your tummy. Your toes, uh, we have a, I think that's a bit of a fluorescence there, just, but it's much less vibrant. Oh, we're not done yet, buddy. That's a good new. Hi, Fluff, Mr. Fluff. Mr. Fluff. Let me see you. So far, I'm not seeing any major fluorescing on this guy. So, because you haven't been here for three weeks yet, I don't think. I need to look at my calendar because I don't know what day it is. But, oh, a little bit on your ears, I think. Okay. I wonder if we could just turn that right off. Let's see what else we got here. Let's see. participating in my very important research. Ginger poof. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. You are looking pretty good. Let's look at your very adorable face. Okay. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. What's this? Oh, it's a clump. We do a little cleaning. Mm -hmm. What is that? Um, that's maybe just a little. Oh. Oh, look at you. I think you are looking pretty good. Let's check your tail out. Of course, the true test will be, of course, micro floof and Jingle floof. They were the worst. They were always the worst. But these guys had it too. Oh, I know you're being so good. 
You mean the lid. Let me use the, oh, there's some, there we go. There's a big, there's a big one. All right, let's check that. Let's check that out. Let's check her out, shall we? Cause maybe, mm -hmm. so what I'm liking here, yeah, is that, hi, I know you're being so good. You're being so good. Yes, wait, what, what, what? There we go. Okay, oh wait, oh, oh wait, very good. All right, wait, wait a second, oh, there you go. Okay, he's like, seriously, I got a bath today. It was crazy, I was wet. And now you're poking at my tail? Will the ending never end? But this will help us get you out of here faster, buddy. And I just wanted, it's so, what I'm looking for is to see if we have new, new growth coming in. What's interesting is that the fluorescence is much less bright and it is now, it looks like we have healthy growth coming in behind it, which is good. He's like, seriously? Nobody cares about your healthy growth story. <laughs> okay, let me just see if there's, if that's, is that the only one you got here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's gonna go play and have a snack. Okay, good job, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're looking very, oh, look. There's a jingle scoop right here. Right on cue. Right on cue, look at that belly, it is a cute belly. Your tail is where we will find your green. And again, you're looking much better. Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm trying to. I'm trying to understand more about. The more we understand about ringworm, the better we can treat it, right? So, we haven't gotten our PCR results back yet from the tests we did last week. I'm not too surprised, because it's the holidays and all. Are you being a good boy? Are you being a good boy? I'm inspecting your... Oh, where are you going? Oh, where are you going? My um, ISO gear is a complete failure. I was telling the other room when I was in there. Complete failure because I didn't, I forgot to duct tape my lab coat closed and then my pants, my scrub pants are too short. And so my underneath pants are sticking out the bottom and my socks. But less over here. Okay, so there's some. But again, very minor. Look, your, your infected hairs are breaking right off into my lap. See, it's contaminating me. Can I see it? Oh, no. So this, these are just for us the very ends. I may try to be one, one time uh, next time just to see, just to compare if we did it carefully, if there was, so we, we had to sort of subscribe to the school of thought that you are more likely to cause micro trauma and then also you're more likely to, um, you're spreading all the spores. So you're really contaminating the environment when you do that. But I'm very, very curious as to whether that would actually bring us to a cure faster. But there is a microbe here. Give me here. He's so 
little and cute. How are you, my little Fluffy? How are you doing? You're so adorable. Let's see how you're doing. Oh, you're too cute. Micro Floof, <laughs> Micro Floof's Floof is getting more and more micro. Cause she's got lots of bald patches now. <laughs> oh, little Micro Floof. You will be so floofy again one day, don't worry. So she's at this point the most glowy of everybody which is totally not surprising. Um, and in fact, I'm just trying to determine if I see clean new growth coming in on her because this is what's interesting is I don't know if she does she did start on the meds a couple of days after everyone because I wanted her to be stronger. Hi. You're so cute. Can I look at your toes? Can I look at your tummy? And you can. See tummy because it's so cute and look at this. Look at little ball. You're little ball everywhere. You definitely have the classic ring warm look. But interestingly, none of these. We have no fluorescence on this. These little bald feet don't fluoresce at all, which is very interesting. It is very interesting. And like this bald patch behind her ear is not, oh, uh, not really flourishing. Phew, that one, I think, pooped recently. <laughs> Poor little bald, baldy locks. Ringworm is a fungus, as we all know, and uh, it makes the hair, it infects the hair shaft and the hair follicle and makes it very brittle, and so it breaks off. That's why you get bald patches. And let me check out your little tail. Oh, it's a little spore tail. You're a little spore tail, kitten, aren't you? Can I look at your be beauteous face? Oh, the clock. You know, it's so funny. When I first walked in, I was like, I better take the clock right now before I forget. And then I totally forgot. Do you have ringworm on your chin? Oh my gosh, you do. She has a few infected hairs on her chin. Little Noel. Oh my goodness. You were just, you were just a disaster when you came in here. You just were, but you're feeling better now. And I'm very happy. Do you look at your ears? Oh, your ears are so cute, but they're also infected. <laughs> you just flip, flip the spores on me. It's okay, I have to basically remove everything anyway. So, there you have it. I do find it interesting, though, that her feet have lesions and are not fluorescing and yet let's look at your tummy oh tummy she says seriously baby come on come on baby good series here oh look at your armpits these these guys have just uh, have the worst ringworm i think noelle has the worst ringworm of any ringworm kitten i've had i mean she just is covered but very interesting that this, these foot ones are not at all fluorescing and we don't have hair regrowth either yet, which is interesting. And I guess that maybe that is hair regrowth. It's just very light. Oh, aren't you just so cute? Mm. 
Maybe. Okay. Okay. I was not being so, so mean. Oh, your little tail is just very naked. Oh, my goodness. It's, a, it's a good thing you started out with. You were all fluff when we started. Now that's good. I see here what definitely was a lesion or at least and she doesn't really have lesions per se on the rest of her body it's just everything is infected but on her tail I am seeing some areas that clearly were infected but because the hair has all broken off but are very um, only very sporadically glowing which is good Oh, except for that part. That part is basically solid green. Right there, so. Oh my goodness, little Noelle's. Oh, I know. It's just not fair. It's not fair being so fluffy. Oh, you're too cute. Okay. Let's get back on. So, there we, there we have it. This is a very... We were a kitten. But everyone else appears to be uh, winning. got this new bottle of meds on Friday. And I think we have about one, maybe like half of a round of doses left. So we're going through like a bottle every good girl. A bottle every four days and it's eighty dollars a bottle so it's like twenty dollars a day in ringworm meds that's just the ringworm meds not the other stuff that's impressive okay jingle floof jingle floof who hates 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 medicine we'll try to go fast fast but slow just the oh no uh oh, I got some on your fluff. I got some on your fluff. Okay, good boy. Good boy. And you got some food on my syringe. Remember those commercials? You got your chocolate and my peanut butter. <laughs> you got your peanut butter and my chocolate. Microfluke just marched over to Elf and is standing, put her paw on her head, and now she has continued on. Who is going to get it? <laughs> oh, Elf, you're so cute. So, hmm. was the least ringwormy, so I'm not going to subject her to a black lady. 
She's coming out of her shell a little more. Hey, Jimmy. Mistletoe was um, purring and rolling over in my lap, and oh, she's so brave! She's so brave! Yay! You guys had to fish snuggle today after you bath. I know you did. You know, Lord gave you snuggles. I'm just waiting for that microfoot to wander by. <laughs> Because she's so cute. Where are you going? <laughs> you can't really tell on the camera how old she actually is. She's actually quite bald. So if you can imagine that she's super bald right now, when she actually has her floof back, she's going to be super floofy. You have most of your food intact. But we know that he's had ringworm since at least August. So he's probably... It's interesting though, how that works. You are too cute. What is your sister doing? What is she doing over there? So, Nicholas was look, is looking pretty good ringworm wise. He had a few little spots, but um, I would say he's close to being good. Of course, being this room, it's not like we can clear half of them. We have to wait till the last one. So we'll, we'll all be waiting on microfluff to clear. Oh, get it. Get that kicker. I suspect Elf is close to being cured. My Elf is so brave. Look at you. She didn't even let me pet her right hand without running away and then, of course, she And then um, Noelle had a moment of woe when she was the last one in the room. And Noelle does not like to be alone. So little micro floof is going to have to have a little friend with her when she goes home. Probably her macro floof. She loves her some jingle floof. She does. He's her brother from another mother. Or maybe the same mother earlier litter. Boop. You guys are so cute. Like, did Nicholas catch your paw instead of the ribbons? Did he catch your paw instead of the ribbons? Oh my goodness. Wait, before you leave, I want to see you in the night. I want to see what some of this looks like in the light. These guys are definitely, um, Present, present with some unique um, symptoms. So that's why I'm so interested in what this stuff looks like because it will help identify it if we see it, which we're likely to see it again. 
So every time we get colony cats, we learn something, don't we? We learn lots. You are so adorable. You're going to be so cute when you have Floop again. Oh, look how cute you are. You're so cute. Why are you so cute? Why are you so cute? Oh my gosh, so cute. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. So tomorrow I will be at Mountain View for the morning and Quinn will be here and then, hmm. I will be here later and you adorable. She looks so much better. Even bald, she looks so much peppier. <laughs> Look at those two beans. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So everyone is doing great. All of our eight ringworm cats and kittens doing great. Joy feels probably the worst with her URI, that's upper respiratory infection. Oh, look at that belly. Oh my goodness, it's big. Um, she probably feels the worst. Elf and Holly are still pretty snarkly. Nicholas has got some congestion that. I don't, I'm not loving the sound of it. It sounds, I can't tell if it's coming from his nose or if it's possibly coming from his lungs. Treatment would be the same. He doesn't have a fever. He's eating and drinking and everything. And he's on antibiotics. So um, there's really nothing we would be doing differently. Um, and they will be going in to Mountain View um, in the next probably week or two uh it's nicer for mountain view if they don't have ringworm when they go in because it's a lot of cleaning and extra stuff that they have to do and since they give us such a good deal um it really ends up being a bad deal for them so um which they're they're at, this is they they don't say that they're happy to do it but I try I'm trying to try to be sensitive to their um, you know stuff like that and uh, since he is as temp as normal and he's eating and drinking and playing and growing and gaining weight all that stuff um, there's no immediate need to diagnose that since there's really nothing else we can do. Um, oh. So, that's something we'll just continue to monitor for now, but you are so cute. The elf is still congested. Sometimes this stuff takes a while, especially when they, their whole lives they've been so sick and so uh, it definitely takes a while to clear all the viruses and bacteria and parasites out. Takes a while, right, Mr. Bell? So this adorable Jingle Bell um, still had some, still is glowing up a storm, but actually looking quite a bit better. Um, micro floof is looking better despite her baldness but um she definitely had it the worst and um i'm not 
She's the only one I'm not seeing um, clean regrowth on just yet, uh, which is not surprising considering how on the edge of, she was, she was right on the edge of being overwhelmed by the parasites and the viruses and all the stuff. So um, that's not something that you just recover from overnight or in a couple of weeks. So the good thing is that she's getting healthier and she's growing and she's eating, drinking, playing, feeling much better, obviously. And so we'll take it. If it takes us a little longer to clear the reworm, then so be it. So, uh, but three weeks in, so we do meds for four weeks and then we will see where we are. So another week of meds and a couple more baths and we will see what happens. I'm interested because we always used to um, wait until we saw hair regrowth on lesions and then we would start testing them to see if they were negative. And I'm curious if the, flor the fluorescence is uh, something that the fungus secretes so I'm just curious if the DNA in the secretion would also trigger a positive. I suppose it makes sense that it would. But anyway, it, it will be interesting to get our first two test results back that were brought in, I believe, Friday. And then we're going to do Comet and the ladies. Um, not sure what day we're going to do them. Possibly tomorrow. We'll have to see. Tomorrow's going to be busy. Maybe Wednesday. And then I feel like Christmas is sometime this week, so I think things are closed on Christmas, so probably we, hopefully we'll get the first round of results before then, but probably the common results will come after. I'm not sure. I can't believe it's Christmas. I haven't even put up a Christmas tree or anything. But I have gotten some lovely Christmas cards from you guys, so thank you for that. That's the most festive. That's the most festive item in the house. And then Earth Options delivered stockings. So Casserole got a special stocking. And the teens got stockings. And these guys all have stockings, but we're not going to put them in just yet because then you'd have to throw them away or bleach them and they'd probably be ruined. Ooh, look at that little elf with her little tummy. So now I'm just rambling because it's, it's been a long day. Another long day. Long but productive. So Cassidy, um, in case you missed it, I did one of his stretching uh, therapy sessions on the camera and it's posted below the live video so you can watch that at your leisure. Uh, so he got his uh, right leg in for about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. And then after our stockings were delivered, uh, oh well, and then the neighbor Cat, thought, took in a stray cat that she thought was pregnant and was bleeding and so she came running over and, and wanted me to help and so I went over and um, took a look at her at this little stray cat. Very sweet. Um, I didn't feel any babies so I'm hoping she's just in heat and um, so I cleaned out her ears and gave her some revolution treated ear mites and all that stuff, and then the neighbor's going to keep her, which is super nice. And they're going to get her spayed. <laughs> so that's good. Um, but so then after that, then I went and did, revisited the, tried to get another round of splint time in for Cassidy, and he, I actually managed to get both splints on in like probably 45 minutes, which is a record. But then, because I'm so dumb, I thought, well, why don't I just tighten this strap? It looks a little loose. And so I tightened it, and then that triggered 
a major massive Hulk smash moment and then all the, the splints shifted and then he was like, get them off me! And so I was trying to untape them and get them off and he was mad. So that was a bust and so of course after something like that I can't just like strap him right back in so we had to have some snuggles and some, you know, playtime and a little break. He had to have a nap. And so I may give it one more try before I go to bed. Just since he didn't get, I did get some good stretching in while I was trying to splint him, but it's not exactly the same. So, um, and I really wanted to get two two hour sessions in, but it's hard when you've got it's hard when the schedule, you've got things on the schedule. Because it takes hours to get it. I had one on very quickly, probably within like the first 15 minutes. It was probably the fastest ever, and then he had a whole smash moment. And um, then, of course, you have to take everything off and start over. So, And then it takes much longer. So, ah, you never know. I think I need a minimum three hour block set aside in order to shoot for 60 minutes in sprint. But I guess I better, tr I better try one more time. The other issue is of course the sore on his one stump. I don't want to irritate that. So I guess maybe what I'll do is just see if that's feeling sore. And maybe I will not. Maybe I'll give him a break until tomorrow. Although tomorrow is going to be very busy also. So I don't know. It will work out. It will work out. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Okay. get up I will end up sleeping here. Not that that wouldn't be fun, but then I would wake up with ring room all over me. And casserole would wonder what happened to me. Look at that little micro sleep. So cute. She looks like a little baby raccoon sometimes. Alright, I'm going. <laughs> here she goes. All right, everybody, uh, I'll see you. I'll catch you on the flip. No. Okay. Oh, eek. Okay. okay. And the clock is, the clock game has officially ended. So that is your, Christmas gift uh, tonight. Mm, good night, everybody. Mm.